Hey, good morning. Joe here. It's Farms Friday. We're in the range at Larry's on the North Memorial Parkway. So we've gotten a lot of questions recently about adjusting sights and front sights and rear sights. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about front sights and rear sights, but mostly front sights. Now, most firearms come with an adjustable rear sight. So for example, you can see this Glock right here has an adjustable rear sight. And what you do is you have to drift this gradually from right to left, depending on whatever you need. The front sight, however, is not adjustable on this Glock. You have to take the firearm apart and then go in from the bottom, and this is actually screwed in. There's a special little Glock tool that unscrews this front sight, so you can change out the front sight. So that's a way to do that. Now, on some firearms, like this Smith & Wesson here, it has an adjustable rear sight in the dovetail here and an adjustable front sight in the dovetail so you can drift this right or left. Now this coming from the factory it has these really nice white dot sight right here so that makes it pretty easy to see then. Now turns out the older you get like me then the harder it is for you to actually focus on that front sight depending on the width of the front sight and this gap that you have in the rear sight right here. So sometimes you may want to change out your front sight in order to make that happen. So there are a number of companies that make these things, but the thing to notice is that there's different heights and different widths. So just for example here, you can get two and a quarter inch, or this is 0.225 inch height, but they come in different widths. So depending on what width the site you want, then that's what happens. So like on this Smith & Wesson right here, okay, this front site here is black, Okay, and it makes it really hard to see indoors. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to change this front sight out. Now this is a pinned sight. You can see there's a little tiny pin there. So what we'll have to do, I'll have the gunsmith do this later, but he's going to drift this out, replace this, and I've got a different front sight here that we're going to put in. And this one you can see has a red fiber optic in it right there. And so this will be much easier for us to see because it's going to have a red fiber optic that's going to pick up the light. But right now, this is almost impossible to see because when you look at this thing, you can see right there, it's really, really hard to pick up that black side out here in low light conditions. So we're going to make some changes to this firearm and we'll see if we can pick it up better. Now the point of all this is, whenever firearm you're using, you need to make sure that your sights work for you. Don't let anybody tell you that, that it's your shooting or whatever, it may or may not be. It may be the sights and not adjusting the sights necessarily. If you can't put a group together at 25 yards, uh, then you, you, it's not a sight adjustment issue, it's a sighting issue. But if you can put a group together, you know, around three or four inches at 25 yards, but you're off someplace, then you may want to look at making adjustments to your sight itself. So change out the sight, front or rear as the case may be. Typically you want to change out the front, typically you just adjust the rear. And then it doesn't matter again what kind of firearm you've got, you can drift it or you can change them out either way. But you've got to be able to see that front sight. And you've heard me say this many times before, but focusing on that front sight when you shoot is absolutely critical. That is what all the old timers will tell you when they start talking about how do you shoot accurately. Focus on that front sight. You do not focus on the rear sight of the target, focus on that front sight. You know, we've got three things we're looking at, rear sight, front sight, and target. You cannot focus on three things. Nobody can. So focus on that front sight. That rear sight will be a little bit out of focus. The target will be a little bit out of focus. But that front sight must be in focus in order for you to shoot accurately. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to let you look at this uh, uh, 648 Smith here later once this gunsmith gets done repairing it and putting on that uh, new sight. All right, that's it for now. You guys stay safe and stay armed out there. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back now. I've had our gunsmith, Warren, who you met a couple of videos ago, uh, but he has replaced the sight on the front of this uh, Smith & Wesson revolver that we talked about. Now, to give you a recap, this is a different one, okay, and you can see it's just a plain black sight here. This is a pinned sight. Everybody got to look at that. Now, look at the one I started with. This is the one I showed you to begin with, and Warren has changed out and put a fiber optic red in this one. And this now makes it so much easier to see the target downrange. So if you have this kind of situation, then you may want to change your front sight. Go ahead and get the front sight changed. Have a competent gunsmith do this. Don't try to do this with a nail. 
take it to somebody that knows how to do this and make sure that you get that site set up where it'll work for you and make sure you can do it. All right, that's it for this week. Be sure to check us next week. All of us in the is want you to stay on and stay safe. Bye-bye.